next level speed. That's why I want to fight you, Cal, because I believe that I'm better than you. There's not a person on this planet would have said that Josh Warrington beats me. I know I had the power to work Lee, and I know that I've got the power to work Carl. Lee Selby was a malnourished fighter. I'm looking at the fight against Selby and thinking, why did you not get rid of him? Maybe the doubt is creeping him. Maybe he don't realise he's a, he's a bigger task than he, than he first thought. He's saying these things because he wants to believe it, and he's hoping and he's praying. Every time he goes to bed at night, he's praying that I'm over the hill. It's about timing in this Damn, game. Damn, they're talking crazy. Now. When I nail him in the first round, he'll know, he'll know he's in a, in, a, in a world that he's never been in before. I believe I'm the best at nine stone in this country. I believe I'm going to beat him up. I think that he's made for me. His style is made for me. Cat turned around and said to me, Nine oh, stone, 126. I'm the best I Going off of them performances. I haven't been as up for a fight in a long time. Stoner, are you in? Uh, you know, uh, here in the States, the, the, the fight doesn't have any buzz. However, I understand, you know, the rivalry, the rivalry between Carl Frampton and um, Josh Warrington, IBF 126 pound champion on T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Now, he's been talking sassy. The question is, can he beat the skill set? Carl Frampton is very skilled. And looking at the resume, going all the way back to Kiko Martinez, Scott Quigg, two fights with Leo Santa Cruz, no need to denier. Josh Warrington, Kingo Martinez, Lee Selby, Pat Hyland, depending on how you look at that, uh, Hasashi Amagasa. Remember, he got his jaw broken by uh, Rigandau. You know, solid, but obviously, you know, not world class. Now, if he was to beat a Carl Frampton, then, of course, he will be world class. But let's start here a little bit. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I do all my videos live and uncut. We cover every single major fight live. However... However, this weekend, I'm going to be in New York getting out in the field, going to a, um, um, I was going to keep it a surprise, but I have to announce it so people won't be pissed that I'm not covering uh, the fights live. So I'm going to try to cover these fights from the Barclays Center because I'm going to be covering um, uh, the Charlos PBC on Fox fight, and I believe it's going to be on ITV if that deal started over there in the UK or on Box Nation. I forgot who picked it up over in the UK. Charlo versus uh, Harrison and Charlo versus uh, Korobov. So I'm going to try to cover these two fights. This, well, this card and also um, um, White versus Tesora too from the arena. So, like I said, Carl Frampton is the better boxer, the better fighter. Some fights he has shown that he has some stamina and some endurance issues later on, but he's always pulled through. He's also showed that he can, can be a little tender in the body. He's even talking about going up to 130 pounds. I don't think that's a, I think that's no good. Josh Warrington is a pressure fighter. As you look at his resume, not known to be a guy with a whole bunch of uh, power punching. But however, he can outwork you. That's what I'm concerned about with Carl Frampton is getting outworked. Cole Frampton is the WBO interim champion, the mandatory for now injured. Um, well, he's going to be coming back soon, uh, Oscar Valdez. Leo Santa Cruz, you know, um, is fighting. Who is he fighting again? I forgot who he's fighting. Miguel Flores? I believe Leo Santa Cruz is fighting Miguel Flores, PBC on Fox. That fight is coming up. Jesus Rojas got that upset over Jojo Diaz, WBE world champion. And then the annual fighter holding the WBC title hostage at 126, Gary Russell Jr. Who was supposed to be fighting Leo C. And the Cruz. Some, ah. But we will see here in the States, the fight has got picked up by uh, ESPN+. Plus. All Frank Warren BT Sport fights are going to be on ESPN+. Plus. Unless they work out some type of deal, what they did with Billy Joe Saunders or whatever, fighting on the zone. But it's going to be a midday card. The fighters are going to be in the ring at about... See, they're competing. This was... You know, I can understand why Frank Warren is upset. You know, you know, like... They really doing you guys over there in the UK dirty. Even though your pay-per-views or box office fights are cheaper than ours over here. I can't remember when we had two high-profile pay-per-views here in the states i don't think we ever had too high profile have we had too high profile 
pay-per-views in the state simultaneous the same night so you know that's some bullshit in my opinion uh white to sword 2 is a bigger fight but this is a title fight right here why you know the repercussion see if call for, okay let's say for example worst case scenario for call frampton obviously is if he loses josh warrington wins he becomes a star he see he you know excels to that next level people are going to be like oh i want to see him versus oscar valdez or him and leo santa cruz call frampton they're going to be like oh his career is in jeopardy and yada 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 when you look at white tesora that can crumble all of the biggest fighter in the world right now, AJ. And Canelo, you know, they're both, you know, neck and neck. But if Dylan White was to lose and Derek Chisora was to win, that makes that a bigger event. But their undercard is trash. In fact, let's go look at this undercard. This undercard is pretty solid from my understanding. I like the Liam Williams. I like Liam. Okay, Liam Williams. You know, I can deal with that. Uh, Mike Collins on the card. Martin Murray's on the card. Tom Fury. Patty Barnes. And I forgot Billy Joe is on the card. Oh my God. I mean, these are showcase fights, obviously. But still, you know, White to Silver card looking like trash. Gutter trash. Yeah, we're going to look forward to this. Damn, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to cover it in full because I'm going to be at the... We're going we're gonna to do what we can do, though. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.